a given the payoff table which has a decision alternatives T1, D2 and T3, states of nature S1, S2 and S3, and uh, the following payoffs. In this video I'm going to use a which decision criterion with alpha equals to 0.7 to find uh, the optimal decision. The first step of a uh, which decision criterion is to determine the maximum payoff for each of the decision alternatives. So I will have the maximum there and look at decision one. We need the maximum of 6,000, 4,000, and minus 500. The maximum there is 6,000. For decision number two, we look at the maximum of 5,000, 2,000, and 1,500. The maximum there is 5,000. For decision number three, we look at the maximum of 400, 1,000, and 3,000. The maximum there is 3,000. So we have now found those maximums for each decision alternative. We then go on and determine the minimum possible payoff for each decision alternative. So I'll write a minimum. So for each decision alternative, we find the minimum. For decision number one, the minimum of 6,000, 4,000, and minus 500. The minimum there is minus 500. For decision number two, the minimum of 5,000, 2,000, and 1,500. The minimum there is 1,500. For decision number three, we look at the minimum of 400, 1,000, and 3,000. The minimum there is a 400. So what you have found there are the maximums and the minimums. And the next step now is to find the hair which value for each decision alternative. We use the formula A which value for decision I is equal to alpha multiplied by rho maximum plus one minus alpha multiplied by rho minimum. And the rho maximums are these ones that you have obtained here. The rho minimums are these ones that you have obtained here. And the alpha here is the one that we are given. We are told that alpha is 0.7. For the 1 minus alpha, we use the alpha that we are given, so we we'll have 1 minus 0 0.7, which gives us a 0 0.3. So we'll now go on and calculate the which value for each decision. For decision number 1, we would have 0 0.7 times 6,000 plus 0 0.3 times minus 500, which gives us a 4,050. For decision 2, the which value, is 0 0.7 times 5,000 plus 0 0.3 times 1,500, which gives us 3,950. For decision 3, the hair which value is 0 0.7 times 3,000 plus 0 0.3 times 400, which gives us 2,220. To choose the optimal decision when we are using the Hellwich decision criterion, we choose the decision which has the highest Hellwich value. The highest Hellwich value that you are having there is 4050. Therefore, using the Hellwich decision criterion, the optimal decision is decision number one.